It's really important when you're using active ingredients in your skincare that you use a high protection. If you're using anything with lactic acid or glycolic or salicylic, then you'll probably feel a little bit sensitive or your skin might tend to ping just a little bit more if you are sitting in direct sunlight. So don't undo all the work that you've done. Make sure that your skin is really protected. But back in the day, you'd get, if it wanted a high factor of like SPF 50, you'd get that kind of ghostly glow to your skin. The texture would be really thick. It would be very oily and you certainly wouldn't want to put makeup on top of it. It just feel totally uncomfortable. But nowadays it's totally different and I want to share with you a few of the products that I love. Now I was recently on holiday and I used Alpha H and this is the Daily Essential Moisturiser and it has an SPF of 50. Literally, it's like the lightest moisturiser I've ever used on my face. You would never know that it had such high protection. You don't have to keep massaging it into your skin. This goes on like a simple everyday moisturiser. So I highly recommend this and obviously sits well under makeup. Uh, when I'm at home, I use the Murad Invisiblur. Now this has got an SPF of 30 in it. And I love this because it's got a really addictive texture to it. It's really soft and silicone-y basically, but it's soft and silky. Um, but sometimes with some silicone products that you find that it sits on top of the skin, creating this soft layer. But as soon as you apply makeup onto the skin, it then just sort of starts to peel off and you can feel the layers peeling off on your skin. What well, doesn't happen with this one, it sits beautifully in the skin. I've been using it since last year and it's a real great product to have. And I also have tried the new anti-shine spray from La Roche-Posay. Um, now this gives a really matte finish to the skin so it's great if you've got oily skin or you don't like a shine. Now of course you can chuck this in your handbag, chuck it in your handbag and you can use it whenever you want. You know if you're in a hot climate you know any time but I used it on the beach. Um, I love using sprays on the beach because I hate having the sand and the texture of sand on my face. So just to sit there on my sun lounger and spray felt, you know, very decadent. It's so light, you don't actually know that you're implying it. And I was like, oh God, is that just blown away in the wind or where's that gone? So I probably put far too many layers of the SPF on my skin, but I thoroughly recommend this product. It was super light and gives you great confidence knowing that you've got excellent protection.